Since first launching in December 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope is the star of NASA and the space world, sending incredible photos of distant galaxies and nebulas. The photos of exoplanets surrounding faraway stars has opened our eyes and helped us better understand inhospitable environments on these exoplanets. However, besides Jupiter, the James Webb Telescope hasn't studied any other planet within our own neighborhood. That has all changed, however, as James Webb recently sent photos from Neptune. These new images of Neptune and its surroundings will blow your mind, so stay tuned and watch as we take a look at them in this video. But before we begin with the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell for the latest notifications and updates. With that said, let's dig right into today's content. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope was recently focused on planets within our own neighborhood and it didn't disappoint as it sent its first images of Neptune. The brilliance of the James Webb sent back the clearest view of this distant planet's rings in more than 30 years. The James Webb's cameras also reveal the ice giant in a whole new light. Most striking in Webb's new image is the crisp view of the planet's rings, some of which have not been detected since NASA's Voyager 2 became the first spacecraft to observe Neptune during its flyby in 1989. In addition to several bright, narrow rings, the Webb image clearly shows Neptune's fainter dust bands. Heidi Hamill, a Neptune system expert and interdisciplinary scientist for Webb, notes, it has been three decades since we last saw these faint, dusty rings, and this is the first time we've seen them in the infrared. Webb's extremely stable and precise image quality permits these very faint rings to be detected so close to Neptune. Neptune has fascinated researchers since its discovery in 1846. Located 30 times farther from the Sun than Earth, Neptune orbits in the remote, dark region of the outer solar system. At that extreme distance, the Sun is so small and faint that high noon on Neptune is similar to a dim twilight on Earth. This planet is characterized as an ice giant due to the chemical makeup of its interior. Compared to the gas giants Jupiter and Saturn, Neptune is much richer in elements heavier than hydrogen and helium. This is readily apparent in Neptune's signature blue appearance in Hubble Space Telescope images at visible wavelengths caused by small amounts of gaseous methane. James Webb's near-infrared camera images objects in the near-infrared range from 0.6 to 5 microns, so Neptune does not appear blue to Webb. In fact, the methane gas so strongly absorbs red and infrared light that the planet is quite dark at these near-infrared wavelengths, except where high-altitude clouds are present. Such methane ice clouds are prominent as bright streaks and spots, which reflects sunlight before it is absorbed by methane gas. Images from other observatories, including the Hubble Space Telescope and the WM Keck Observatory, have recorded these rapidly evolving cloud features over the years. More subtly, a thin line of brightness circling the planet's equator could be a visual signature of global atmospheric circulation that powers Neptune's winds and storms. The atmosphere descends and warms at the equator and thus glows at infrared wavelengths more than the surrounding cooler gases. Neptune's 164-year orbit means its northern pole at the top of this image is just out of view for astronomers, but the Webb images hint at an intriguing brightness in that area. A previously known vortex at the southern pole is evident in Webb's view, but for the first time, Webb has revealed a continuous band of high-latitude clouds surrounding it. Webb also captured seven of Neptune's 14 known moons. Dominating this Webb portrait of Neptune is a very bright point of light sporting the signature diffraction spikes seen in many of Webb's images, but this is not a star. Rather, this is Neptune's large and unusual moon, Triton. Covered in a frozen sheen of condensed nitrogen, Triton reflects an average of 70% of the sunlight that hits it. It far outshines Neptune in this image because the planet's atmosphere is darkened by methane absorption at these near-infrared wavelengths. Triton orbits Neptune in an unusual backward retrograde orbit, leading astronomers to speculate that this moon was originally a Kuiper Belt object that was gravitationally captured by Neptune. Additional web studies of both Triton and Neptune are planned in the coming year. Astronomers will be able to measure the reflectivity of the rings using Webb, and more research could provide insight into their size and composition. Hamill, 
told the New York Times' Jonathan O'Callaghan, I'm so happy that it has worked. I've been waiting so long for these images of Neptune. She added, I have not seen it in that level of detail since the Voyager encounter in 1989. It just pops right out. The James Webb Space Telescope is the world's premier space science observatory. Webb will solve mysteries in our solar system, look beyond to distant worlds around other stars, and probe the mysterious structures and origins of our universe and our place in it. Webb has a lot to uncover, and we are sure we can learn a lot more from the findings and images from James Webb. That's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed watching this one. Thanks for watching.